Welcome to today's interview on Brighton.com. I'm Mike Adams, the founder of Brighton. And as you know, I'm a strong advocate of the Second Amendment. I've been carrying concealed for decades. And over this time, I have broken uh, numerous holsters and I've, I've become very unfriendly with Kydex because I break it all the time since I actually wear holsters uh, during all my waking hours, including, you know, right now, every day at the studio. And I'm also very active because I live on a ranch, as you know, and I'm taking care of animals and I'm, I'm lifting small goats and I'm dealing with donkeys and chickens and whatever. So I end up breaking a lot of gear, but that's good for you because I've found gear, holster gear, that actually works and doesn't break. And it's an extraordinary innovation in the area of holsters. And by the way, this is not a sponsored segment. I haven't been paid a dime to bring you this. This is just something that I discovered, a friend of mine introduced me to this holster technology that has been working for me beautifully. The innovation is something you may have never heard of in the holster space because it's not a Kydex holster, it's not a, a leather holster, it's something different. And it's something that can be custom formed to your firearms. And so I reached out to the company called 1791gunleather.com, that's their, their web address, to ask them if they would come on and talk about their technology. And literally, this is the very first time that I'm speaking to these gentlemen. And we have with us now uh, three people from that company, Ramiro, uh, let me get his name, Romani, known as Rambo. Mm -hmm. He's the CEO. We've got Evan McNamara, who's sales and marketing. And we've got Alex, who's also with product development. And I've got my Glock 43X here on the desk, and I've got uh, holsters on me. And I'm just thrilled to invite this company to come talk about their technology. So welcome, gentlemen. It's great to have you on. Thanks, Mike. It's great to be here. Appreciate you having us on. Well, I certainly appreciate the product solutions that you have put together. So let's let's jump into it real quick. Uh, show my screen, guys. Uh, this is I'm talking about this ultra custom concealment holster from 1791gunleather.com. And this is uh, a, a special kind of holster that can be formed to many different firearms. So I don't know who wants to take this question of Evan or Ramiro, but jump in and, and tell us about the idea behind this holster and how you came up with this. Alex, go ahead. Sure. So the holster started a long time before we actually brought it to market. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a tinkerer together with another partner that we have in development. And um, I purchased a product online that was supposed to be, you know, the strongest and the lightest at the same time, you know, stronger than steel, lighter than paper. Um, and uh, it, basically what it is, it's a uh, ultra high uh, density, uh, uh, material, yes, uh, that becomes soft when it is heated and it becomes hard when it be, when it's cooled down. Okay. Right. So what we did is we layered that material inside of two pieces of leather so that when you effectively warm the holster up, and we've got instructions on how to best do that. Uh, the material becomes pliable and therefore allowing you to insert your firearm, obviously unloaded, into the holster itself, give it the shape that you want, um, massage all the different creases and, and, and uh, uh, particular shapes that your firearm may have into the holster itself. It, you'll, you'll be surprised how well it actually molds. Uh, if you've molded yours, I'm assuming you did, the inside of the holster will have every detail of the firearm that you molded the holster with. Um, and that's in essence what it is. Uh, it's uh, something that started with, with, with you know, a, a bit of a joke. Hey, let's make a moldable holster. This way we don't have to make, you know, all these different models. At the end of the day, we found that there is a sub-segment of the market that is very interested in having a custom holster for their firearm. There's also many firearms that, that companies don't make holsters mm -hmm. for. That, That's that, right. You know, people are still looking for holsters for those firearms and they just can't find them in the open market. And this is certainly a solution for that as well. 
All right, let me let me just show the the audience here. So I just took this off my waist. Uh, this happens to be a Glock 19 here with one of your holsters that is formed. And yes. it, it is, uh, first of all, I want people to notice that there are no screws. There are no, there's, there's nothing that's going to loosen and fall out and break because that's been a problem I, I've had over and over again with so many other holsters. Even using some forms of thread lock, they, they tend to, to break and, and, or fall out and you find, oh, you're missing screws and then, and, you know, then you've got a problem. Uh, this, it, it fits very nicely. It's got very strong retention, but also uh, it's accessible. So it's not, it's not too tight, but I have been active, you know, again, in a ranch environment with animals and uh, uh, exercise and, you know, you know, of course, driving and, you know, buying groceries and all this stuff. I've never had a retention problem. And I love the fact that it has this extra piece here that, sits up against the body this this extra you know i don't know what you call this this flap it's a sweat guard a sweat guard okay but it, yeah. it's very very comfortable so i gotta say you guys you hit a home run with this it's amazing great job yeah well, mike i was just, when you kind of boil it down i know it's simple it's simple as form it's really you get the retention of a kydex holster but with the comfort of a of a leather holster i would agree with that I would agree with that. And I love the fact, too, that if you if you change your firearm, as long as it's roughly the same size pistol, you can reheat the holster, you can reform it to the new pistol, and now you don't have to buy a whole new holster. That's as amazing. As many times as you want. Yeah. As many times. So it's very economical in that sense. It might be a little more expensive up front, but not that much so. So, but how, I mean, this must have taken a tremendous amount of, of testing and and iterations of development. How did you finalize on on this sandwiching of materials? It did. It took it took time in 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 really you know honing in on what materials we wanted to use on the outside. We knew it needed to be soft. If we used a rigid leather, you wouldn't be able to shape it and mold it the way that you are with that one. Yeah. Um, that's the same leather we use in our smooth concealment holsters. Uh, this product, actually, you're, you're looking at the second iteration of it. The first product that we launched was an inside the waistband version. Um, that one was, again, five, six sizes, and you're able to mold it to uh, pretty much any firearm that's going to fit, like you mentioned. Any similar size firearm will fit in each one of those sizes. Then we went over and we did the outside the waistband version, which you are the one, you, that's the one that you have there. That's right. Um, that one will, you know, thread through your belt like a standard, you know, outside the waistband holster. And the third iteration of it is the same type of, of uh, uh, material, but a shape that would allow you to actually have a light laser as well as an optic. I saw All of that. those are also optic ready. Yeah, I, I, that was another thing that I thought was real interesting. So for like for my Glock 43 here, of course, I've got a red dot optic on top and, and I noticed that your holster for the red dot. I mean, I mean, it works just fine with it. No problem there. I don't, I don't currently run lights on any of these pistols, but I saw that you do have holsters that are capable of that. And again, this is a common problem people have. They don't, maybe they're going to run a stream light or an O light or some other kind of light. And it's impossible to find the combination of the pistol and the light that you need from typical yep. holster manufacturers. Right. But with your solution, you can change the light and you just remold the holster if you have to just, by dropping exactly. it in a bag in hot water. It's so simple. Yeah. Yep. It takes it takes about what 10 minutes to warm it up and about another five to ten minutes to, you know, massage the the the, the firearm into the holster and give it the shape. We provide the, a couple tools that are provided with the holster itself that you can use to really, you know, give it that definition. And and many times uh, uh, modify the retention to the retention level that is, that is, you know, most comfortable for yourself. Yeah. Well, again, extremely well done. Uh, let me ask Evan here, Evan, what has the market response been on this or have you been at, at shows like shot show and what kind of feedback are you getting on this holster? Yeah, sure. No, I mean, I think it's, um, and really how I was sort of introduced to the company when this product launched, I was, I was with, a, a another company 
Um, and that's really how I got introduced to them was through this technology. I was introduced to it. And so actually at SHOT Show, I went to go visit them. And that's how I uh, got introduced to Rambo and Alex and uh, really explored the technology for a, a product that that I was working on at the time. Um, but when you kind of walk it back, I mean, it's interesting. It's, you know, it's sort of innovation in a category that isn't really known for innovation so much um, around holsters, especially leather holsters. Um, and so, the you know, the market response is, has been really good. I Back in 2020, when the product launched, um, Guns and Ammo recognized it as the Holster of the Year Award, which is uh, pretty That's pretty a big significant. deal. Yeah. Um, and there is kind of an education piece to it, you know, that that's required. Again, if you look at your general um, gun owner, uh, your concealed carrier, your everyday carry, they're sort of used to what they're used to. So there is an education piece to it uh, that's required. But again, it's very simple to, to use. I always liken it to molding a mouthpiece like you used to do back in the day when right. you know, you're a kid and, and playing sports. Um, and uh, and so we're really proud of the proud of the product. Well, I, I think you should be. I, I want to bring in Ramiro here. And my question to you, Ramiro, is, you know, your philosophy for the company, because, see, I, I believe that gear has to work when it counts. Right. And I also believe that we live in a very unpredictable world right now. There's more violent crime everywhere. Uh, the state of Illinois just enacted a new law and no bail law so that the criminals who commit uh, murder and burglaries and robberies and kidnappings can just be issued a ticket and put back out on the streets. And so in this kind of environment, our, our gear must work. If, if your gear fails, you could die when you need it the most. So is, is that part of the philosophy that drives you with, with this company, Ramiro? Well, uh, of course, uh, when we created the company back in 2016 with Alex, uh, the most important thing for us was to put out there that quality, that bringing back that legacy of tested, top of the line um, gear, which was uh, little by little disappearing from the market when those traditional accessory companies were being bought out by big corporations and the product got slimmer or cheaper, started to be made in overseas somewhere. Uh, and you lost a lot of that, right? So one of our utmost uh, concerns is testing. Um, once and again, with professionals, with instructors, and with everybody in the industry to, to gain that consensus. And I think with the Ultra Custom, uh, it was tested by editors of major publications, law enforcement, and different professionals till we got it to that point that we said, okay, uh, it's ready to go in the market and it's going to do what it has to do when, when you have a difficult crossfire situation or anything you wouldn't like to, to be happening to you, right? So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, you don't want a, a uh, wardrobe malfunction. Or holster malfunction. In, in, Absolutely. In it won't happen with a 1791, I assure you. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. But I have, I have, like I said in the intro, I've experienced so many failures of Kydex holsters that it's, it's almost embarrassing. I, they, they always uh, break vertically uh, along a curve. And I've, again, because I, I carry all the time. And this is the other thing that I want to remind our viewers. You know, a lot of people, they have a concealed carry permit but they don't actually carry concealed or they have a gun, but it's, you know, it's, it's on the, it's by the bed or it's in the closet somewhere. Hey, that's not going to help you folks. If you don't have it on you, when things go down, then, you know, what's, what's the point. So, and if you're going to carry all the time every day where it is, of course, legal, you know, I always encourage you to check your local laws and, and keep it legal. But if you're going to carry every day, you've got to have gear that works every single day and, and doesn't keep breaking on you. And I haven't, guys, I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any stitches come out of this. I haven't had any tears. The leather is very durable and quite thick. In fact, here, I'm looking at it right now. I'm just, um, I'm astonished. I, I guess my only criticism is, is your, your, your box is a little, uh, it, it's a little dramatic. The hologram on the front and everything. I don't, personally, I don't need all that. I'm just happy to have the holster, but the, the box is also pretty interesting. 
<laughs> well, you know, at first we were trying to figure out how to to let people know what it was, right? And I remember when we were figuring out what we were going to do on the box. I I looked at a at a uh, uh, cereal box that my kids had at home. I was like, oh my god, you know, we could use something like this on the on the front of the of the box for the holster where you show it not molded and molded. Uh. People are it's it's something so new. It's a novelty to, to to so many that they can't visualize. You know the change in potential shape that that we're able to give this holster. So that's kind of how we went with it at first. The second iteration of the of of the box no longer has that. So you'd be happy with that one as well. Oh, okay. Uh, and let me also for the audience, let me run through some additional basics. And guys, jump in at any time if I misstate anything. But but as I understand it, you have is is it basically seven different sizes of this that. A, uh, that accommodate, you know, subcompact, compact, carry, full size, and so on. Is it, what's the correct number? So it depends. You know, we've got the inside the waistband versions, which are five sizes. Okay. Um, the outside the waistband version is also five sizes. And the light bearing version is actually only three sizes. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So what, what we're looking at on screen here is the first the light bearing sizes. So there's exactly. the three on top. Yeah. And basically, you know, you'll go with your, with, with your smaller firearms, you can see them over there on the left. Um, uh, in the middle, you've got the, the the largest size, actually, which is for your P320s, yep. your, your your much larger full-size firearms. And all the way on the right, you've got your, you know, for your Glock 17, Glock 19, um, you know, subcompact or compact, actually, firearms as well. Okay. And, and again, to our audience, what's critical to understand here is these are not specific to one firearm. So here on the left, no. this looks like a, like a SIG uh, P365 probably, but yep. it can also handle, uh, I think like a Glock 43 X. Uh, and, and then, you know, the over here on the right, the Glock 19 can handle like a Hellcat pro mm. or other, other firearms. And that's the thing. Shield MP40. Shield, exactly. Just, you know, everything what? that is of that similar size frame will work in there. And I think, especially talking about the light bearing, you touched on a really important point. You know, there are so many light, optic, and firearm combinations out there that it's practically impossible for somebody to come up with a product that is going to satisfy your particular needs. Yeah. So if you've got a firearm with a larger light and an optic and want to switch out the light for a smaller light, you can still use that same holster. You just need to remold it, you know, reheat it, put it, you know, inside the holster, and and use the the holster itself to create that retention of the firearm. And and you know, we haven't found an, another solution out there that is as comfortable and as versatile as this for all of the different variations that are potentially out there. Yeah, I mean, here here's even a 1911. Uh, in one of your holsters as well. So you, you cover the whole range. I also want to mention, you know, I've seen a lot of people, this is not, I don't do this, but a lot of people run oversized mag release uh, buttons or slide release buttons. You know, people like to put a lot of extra stuff for some reason all over their, their pistols. And that can change the retention factors in a normal holster. But if you, if you use your holster and mold it to the gear that's on the gun, then you're going to get the retention that you are aiming for, whatever that happens to be. I mean, that, that's an important factor. People put a lot of stuff on their guns. Yeah, absolutely. That's another, you know, key, key attribute to, to the holster itself, especially with more and more accessories being introduced. Um, you know, it's, it, it's nice to have the option to be able to custom fit to your, your specific setup. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now, okay. Uh, next question, then you already mentioned you have inside the waistband holsters and then outside the waistband holsters, but uh, I understand, and I have not used these, you have EDC organizers. So I've got those up on the screen right now. Uh, also, I guess the, the same quality of leather work that you have in your holsters, but for carrying various gear, can you talk about this line that you have? Sure. Evan, you want to take it or I'll take this one? If you want to take it, Alex, go ahead. Well, just, you know, these these uh, uh, products are kind of a an, an offshoot of what we were doing. Uh, we were looking to bring another product line to market that would use the capabilities that we have 
We use the same highest quality leathers and, and craftsmanship in each one of these. But these are more geared towards your, you know, DIYer, uh, uh, handyman, do it yourself or ele electrician, plumber, you know, the super at a building. Um, and, and they're geared towards carrying a multi-tool flashlight, knife, and other accessories that people are usually cramming into their pockets. Um, and, and, you know, the, the, these things tend to either tear your pockets from the inside, tear your <laughs> yep. pants wherever you're clipping <laughs> them on. Yeah. No, I, no, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just laughing because I have the same, I have the same problem because this is stuff I do carry every day, but I, I don't have an organizer like yours. Um, I, We've seen a lot of people though, take that organizer that you have there equip it with a flashlight and a knife. And instead of putting a multi-tool in the multi-tool pocket, they're actually putting a magazine that in makes that sense. additional pocket. So you're, you're able to carry your firearm on one side and another magazine as a mag carrier, but with the additional benefit of, of a light and a flashlight. That makes I mean, uh, perfect a knife sense. And a flashlight. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's outstanding. So, so you, you, have been doing holsters first and then this came next or is it the other way around? Yeah, holsters came first and then this came next. These can be found on our 1791gunleather.com website as well as our 1791edc.com website. Okay. Um, which, which carries the entire line of, uh, of tool organizers. And may I ask, where are you located, by the way? So we're oh. all in different places. Oh, I mean, <laughs> where, where is this stuff Florida. made? Rambo and I are in Florida, and, and Evan is in uh, Virginia Beach. Our manufacturing facility is actually in Mexico City, and uh, we manufacture all our goods with 100% American leather sourced directly here, uh, actually in Kansas is where we buy our leather. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so you do the designs, you do the quality control. Leather comes from America, manufacturing in Mexico City, but your company is largely based in Florida. Do I have all that right? Yes. Right. Yeah. Basically, yeah. well, Alex and I grew up in Mexico City. We, we went to American school for many, many years, played football together there. And at a point when we were working in different industries, we wanted to, to do something with the craftsmanship Mexico can offer because here in the United States, uh, it's a dying trade uh, in some sorts. Yes. Finding artisans that can uh, really help us to take it uh, all the way, you know, make a, a factory with the different stations and without uh, giving an inch uh, of quality and craftsmanship, being able to produce 1,200 to 1,500 holsters a day, right? Uh, and also, uh, growing up there, we wanted to to give an opportunity to people there. As a matter of fact, we create uh, most of our our workers are single moms. Uh, we created a night school because a lot of them hadn't finished high school. We put some of them through college and a trade school. So we had this project to give them education there, an opportunity there, a place uh we adore and we like uh, very much because we grew up there so they get a chance to educate their kids and have an opportunity and don't have to come to the states uh, and in an illegal fashion right so right. we try to give that social part of giving back uh in our factory well i that makes perfect sense and and you don't have to sell me on the uh, craftsmanship of the people there i used to live in south america and i saw firsthand the the leather craftsmanship especially saddles uh i, mm -hmm. I met a couple of saddle makers there in uh, ecuador who were just extraordinary i had never seen anything like that uh, being done in the united states not in my lifetime and leather is something that a, a lot of people in mexico central and south america they grow up learning how to work with leather because it's such a functional material uh, and, and I would imagine that you were able to find people uh, pretty readily who, who wanted to work on this, right? It took some time, but we found the people when we trained them and little by little, they, they became experts themselves. And we've got people like Rambo said, mostly female single moms um, that have been with us for many, many years. And they've become experts themselves in, in, the, in, in this art. Wow. Well, that's, that's an amazing story. Uh, also want to mention, uh, you've got 
I mean, I, I'm just trying to go through everything that you offer. You've got gun belts as well. I have that up on my screen here as well. And you've got many other products, uh, all, I guess all of them made out of leather one way or another. Let's see, you've got the snag mag, you've got the tool organizers we've covered, rifle slings, mag carriers, gear, and so on. Is, am I leaving out anything or is that, does that cover it? We also have some rifle slings as well, uh, very <laughs> smaller, you know, uh, segment of the, uh, of the product line. But, uh, you know, certainly you, you touched on like our, our gun belts. Um, I think that's a, that's a key one for us. You know, we make, uh, it's a little bit kind of thicker, sturdier leather than I think what you'd be used to, um, from your typical de department store belt, uh, <laughs> yeah. 14, 14 ounce full grain leather. And it's a really popular product for us. And we just get a ton of great product feedback on, on those belts as well. And it's, uh, you know, really kind of a perfect complement to a lot of our uh, belt holsters. Um, okay. And, well, I'm going to try that needle. next because I've also torn up way too many belts. Um, uh, well, this will probably be the last belt you have to get. <laughs> okay. To All be right. honest, it's a super sturdy, thick. It won't sag. It won't stretch. It's a great belt. Okay. It's a gun belt. It's supposed to do that. So you can carry your gun actually <laughs> safely, right? But yeah. It won't bulge. It won't bend. Uh, I've I had mine for five years now. And I still wear the same one. Wow. Wow. Well, that, that's amazing. Well, well yeah. look. I, I, yeah. I was going to say, my, I think it's important to note, too, that uh, all our products come with a lifetime warranty. So we stand by the quality and and just the uh, overall oh. craftsmanship of the product. No kidding. So, OK, if I so if I ever have a problem with this with this holster, really, you'll you'll replace it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh man. OK, well, I'm, I'm going to push it to the limit. That's there's no doubt about that. <laughs> Bring it on. We we dare you to. <laughs> yeah. It's already got you. You see, I've been wearing it for quite some time. It's got a little bit of a like yeah. some body oils that have rubbed into the holster or something there. I mean, uh, I've, I've been I've been putting it through the paces and a couple of them, too, and uh, trying different different pistols with it. So. I'm, I'm definitely going to give you guys some feedback and let's after the interview, let me give you my direct number so we can keep in touch. And I'd, I'd love to give you more feedback, but uh, here, I guess last thing I would, I would say is, you know, how, how can our audience take advantage of this? I mean, do you have an email list or should they just go to your website, check it out? Or, you know, what's the best way for people to, in, you know, to encourage people to try this out for themselves? Yeah, I think the best thing to do, Mike, you nailed it, was just uh, visit the website, 1791gunleather.com, as well as 1791edc.com. And then also we're on most of the uh, the social platforms uh, as well. So we can be followed on uh, on social as well. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, I will do that again, 1791gunleather.com. And uh, I, I assume the year 1791 is the signing of the Bill of Rights. Is that what that's alluding to? Yes, sir. Okay. It's the Second Amendment, yeah. Uh, uh, getting ratified into the Bill of Rights. Okay, perfect. Okay, that that makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. December 15th, 1791. <laughs> okay, good. Well, as an American, I should know at least uh, that much of American history, uh, the Second Amendment. Although I think, I think the governor of New Mexico doesn't know that part about American history, uh, it turns out. But um, I just want to thank you guys for joining me. Th this has been fun, and I appreciate you coming on and spending time with me. And I just want to say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled about your product. I also want to clarify to the audience, you know, we don't have any financial arrangement of any kind. Uh, I haven't been paid to have to have these folks on. I don't earn anything off their sales. I just love to promote companies that have solutions that work. And especially in, in this, you know, very uncertain time in our world, you need gear that's absolutely going to work. And this, these holsters work. There's just no doubt about it. it look, if, if you get one of these and you don't like it, let me know about it and I'll pass the complaint over to these guys, but I, I doubt you're going to complain. I think you're going to love it. So any, any final uh, words to wrap this up guys? Just thanks for having us and uh, thanks for being a customer. We appreciate it. Uh, absolutely. Thrilled to be a customer. And uh, Ramiro, uh, th thank you for, uh, you know, you and Evan uh, putting all this together, or, or Alex, I'm sorry, putting this together, and then Evan joined later, as I understand. But mm -hmm. thank you for putting this together, for having innovation, that ingenuity, 
for gear that's reliable. We appreciate you and uh, we wish you the best success in your business. Mike, we'd like to thank you and your whole audience. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, absolutely. We're, we're happy to have you here and uh, yeah. we'll, we'll talk again. Uh, let us know how things go. Absolutely. All thank right. you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. thank you for joining me, folks. Uh, so yeah. there you go, guys. 1791gunleather.com. Uh, really fascinating. This was literally the first time I've spoken with these gentlemen and uh, fascinated to learn about their company and their solutions that work. You know that, uh, you know, people offer me uh, big dollars to endorse various products. And I usually say no, and I end up endorsing things for free when they work. And that's, that's what this is. Okay. So I just want you to know, I'm all about gear that works. And if you hear me recommend anything on this show or otherwise, you can rest assured it's something that is going to work for you. And that's exactly what this is. So check them out. Give them your support. 1791gunleather.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to repost this interview on other channels and platforms. I'm Mike Adams here. Of course, the founder of Brighton.com, the free speech platform where you can speak in an uncensored manner about the Second Amendment and other topics that matter most. Thanks for watching today. God bless you all. Take care. We thank you for your support. And today's episode is brought to you by healthrangerstore.com. And we've got some really innovative new products that you may not be aware of that, that I've just got to tell you about today. The first one is called 5G Defense. I've got some samples here on my desk and also I've got it up here in the store. Here it is. Now, 5G Defense is made of an extract of melon fruit called SOD or superoxide dismutase. It's an enzyme that helps your body neutralize dangerous free radicals known as peroxynitrites. And peroxynitrites are formed in your blood upon exposure to 5G signals and other forms of electromagnetic radiation and exposure. So these free radicals can cause chromosomal damage. Of course, these free radicals can do a tremendous amount of damage across your body if you don't have a defense against it. And this is why people who live in, or one of the reasons why people who live around a lot of 5G towers or heavy electromagnetic radiation, they tend to have a lot more uh, chronic degenerative conditions, by the way. And a lot of them are, are dying suddenly too. Well, I guess there's something else involved in that. But 5G defense, just to be clear, it doesn't block radiation because no dietary supplement can do that, but it helps your body naturally counteract the free radicals that are formed upon exposure to certain types of electromagnetic radiation. So check it out, 5G Defense at healthrangerstore.com. We've had a lot of trouble keeping this product in stock, so you might have to check back after a day or two, or maybe a week or two, depending on, on what's happening with the sales. Also, now another product that helps your body detoxify naturally is NAC or N-acetylcysteine. And this is a product that the FDA is looking at banning probably because it works so well. We have our own brand now, the Groovy B brand of NAC. It's available now in capsule form at healthrangerstore.com. Now we don't know how long this is going to be available, but it is available now and it supports natural liver health and liver support, liver detoxification of uh, your body. And then we also have now a new form of astaxanthin that's available. It's Hawaiian astaxanthin. It's bioastin. That's the brand name, but it's combined with a turmeric extract with standardized curcuminoids and bioperine, which is a black pepper extract. So all of that together in one capsule, again, astaxanthin, the most potent fat soluble carotenoid known in existence, combined with curcuminoids and black pepper, the benefits are extraordinary. Do your research on it. You'll find out just how good it is all in one capsule. Uh, that's, that's an amazing product right there that can change your life. Uh, try it, do your research, find out about that. And then finally, we also have new bar soaps available. We've got oatmeal, lavender, shea butter, and green tea and peppermint bar soaps. That's the combination you see there. This is a new product for us at the store. People love it because we don't use any artificial fragrance chemicals of any kind. We just use natural essential oils and natural ingredients, all laboratory tested, of course. So you know you're not getting hit by heavy metals or glyphosate or other toxic substances like that. And these are great for preparedness and they're also outstanding barter items or gift items. You can get these now, they're beautifully packaged, they're available 
at healthrangerstore.com. And I also want to remind you that if you're looking at food storage, we've got freeze-dried, certified organic, laboratory tested in our own in-house lab with multiple mass spec instruments, ISO accredited laboratory, 17025 accreditation. Uh, we, we scrutinize our foods and our raw materials more than any other retailer in the world. And we bring you the world's cleanest foods and supplements, including storable foods. They're available now at healthrangerstore.com, ranger buckets, mega buckets, mini buckets of all kinds of different things, fruits, vegetables, grains, uh, seeds, nuts, uh, different kinds of kits and so on. If you wanna shore up your food supply, that's the place to do it, healthrangerstore.com. We thank you for your support and remind you that all of your purchases help support this platform for freedom of speech and empowering and uplifting humanity so that we might have a future on this planet, you know, after the globalists try to depopulate the world and mass murder everybody. Well, we're not so easy to kill because we have nutrition, we have knowledge, we have empowerment. And thanks to people like you, we have support to continue telling the truth every day right here on Brighton.com and naturalnews.com. I thank you for your support. A global reset is coming, and that's why I've recorded a new nine-hour audiobook. It's called The Global Reset Survival Guide. You can download it for free by subscribing to the naturalnews.com email newsletter, which is also free. I'll describe how the monetary system fails. I also cover emergency medicine and first aid and what to buy to help you avoid infections. So download this guide, it's free, it's my gift to you simply because I want like-minded people to survive.